Hello and welcome. Here's another Test Kit Plus video. This time we're going to test a sample reported to be ketamine and see if the results are consistent with ketamine. We'll use three tests from Test Kit Plus. Each test reacts differently with different substances. A color chart is included with each test. This sample is in crystal form, but ketamine can also come in powders or dissolved in liquid. The first test is called the marquee test. First I'll put a drop on the side as a control so you can see what marquee looks like by itself. It's clear. Then a drop on the sample. This liquid doesn't change color with ketamine, so the liquid staying clear is what we'd expect. Next is the mandolin test, which does change colors with ketamine. Again, I'll put a control drop so that you can see the color alone. Mandolin liquid is orange like this when it's fresh off the production line. After a day or two, it'll be yellow on its own, which is normal, and it won't affect the reaction color. With ketamine, we'd expect a deep reddish orange with this test, which is what we're already starting to get. Lastly, we'll use the MEC test. Again, I'll put a drop on the side and then on the sample. As with the first test, this test also isn't supposed to bring about a color change with ketamine. So the liquid staying clear is what we'd expect. If you do get a color change with the Marquee or MEC tests, then it could mean your sample contains adulterants or cuts. I'll go ahead and speed up the clock a bit. As you can see, after a couple of minutes, we're left with this reddish orange for mandolin and no color change with the other tests. These results are consistent with what we'd expect from ketamine. I've included links in the description for where you can get test kits for a wide array of substances. Hope you find this video useful. Happy testing!